Can we resume, please? Uh, so, welcome back to the plenary session of uh, this uh, session of our, our meeting. I think the results from the region are in, and uh, I'm going to hand over this session to the president, outgoing president to chair. Um, I think the process is really simple. Uh, we would like to know in plenary who has been uh, elected from the regions, and then we will proceed to the election of the president and vice president of the council. Uh, so, Georgie, I think you can... Uh, Hello. Welcome back from the regional meetings. Um, what I'm going to do is to read um, the nominations that have come through, and then the region can confirm. So I want to start with East Africa. Um, the East Africa region nominated Leno Some from Uganda, and Imshai Mwangola from Kenya, and the alternate they nominated is Khaled El Amin from Sudan. Can you confirm this? East Africa confirmed. Thank you. The Southern African region nominated Isabel Casimiro from Mozambique, Ramola Ramtuho, Mauritius, and the alternate is Pinky Mekwe from um, Botswana. Is that confirmed? Thank you. North Africa nominated Slahedin Ben Fredge from Tunisia. Brahim El Moshid from Morocco, and the alternate is Fuad Noa from Algeria. Is that confirmed? Okay. Central Africa nominated Jacques Chibwabwa from DRC, Ibrahim Mwish from Cameroon, and the alternate is Therese Azeng from Cameroon. Is that okay. So, so these are the nominations. I didn't? <laughs> West Africa opted out of the executive committee. <laughs> West Africa nominated Rokhaya Fao from Senegal and Nanekwi Anidoho from Ghana. And the alternate is Patricia Gomez from Guinea-Bissau. <laughs> Thank you. So those are our nominees. Maybe we should ask the nominees to come to the front so that people see who they are. So all nominees and alternates, please step forward so that the community can see you. Yes. <laughs> Missing people. Huh? Oh, okay, okay. I, I believe Ben Fred has, has, has had to leave, so he may not be here with us. Yeah, okay. So, so here are the nominees. Do you know who everybody is? Okay, so can you just quickly mention your names so that, and regions so that people know who you are? Maybe we'll start from El Moshi. Bonsoir à tous, je suis Brahim El Morche de l'Université de Marrakech. Je suis économiste. Je remercie les gens qui m'ont choisi et j'espère que je serai à la hauteur. Voilà, merci. 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 So do you have the, the mic now? Do you have a microphone? Okay. So, so maybe you can continue from there. If, if you mention your name and introduce yourself. It's not working. Okay, then please, come, come. It's, it's, let's do it quickly. If you come up here and introduce yourself. Uh, Lino Some, uh, East Africa. 
We're sharing Mongolia, East Africa. I'm Nana Ekuya Anyidoho from Ghana. Roche Afal, de l'Afrique de l'Ouest, Senegal. Good evening, I'm Ramola Ramto. I'm from Mauritius, so Southern Africa. Ibrahim Wish from Cameroon. Isabel Casimir from Mozambique. Teresa Zeng du Cameroon. Pinky Mekwe, Botswana. Patricia Goudinho Gomes from Guinea-Bissau. Enfin, Jacques Chihuahua, RDC. Okay. So can we confirm that these are our elected members and alternates? for the next executive committee. Congratulations, and I wish you well. OK, please sit. So the next stage is nomination. OK, we start with president first. Yes. <laughs> OK, so we've come to the next stage. And amongst the 10 that we've, um, we've, we've elected onto the executive committee, we now will, will elect a president and vice president. So the floor is open for nominations for president of Cordestria. Yes, please, Jimmy Adeshina. Um, for president, I nominate Isabel Casimiro. Any other nominations? Yes, please. For president, just president, no, nothing else now. Isabel Casimiro has been nominated by Jimmy Adeshina for president of Kodesho. For president, I would like to nominate Lynn Osome. Two, Lynn Osome has been nominated for president. I would like to second the nomination of Lynn Osome. Uh, okay, okay. So I missed one step. Who seconds the nomination of um, Isabel Casimiro, Tandika and Kandawe. Okay. So any, any more nominations? Okay. So now we have, oh, please, your hand is up. Carlos, what, you were waving at who? <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> Okay, so may, may we have Leno Some and um, Isabel Kashimiro here in front? You want to hear from them? Okay. All in a, all in a minute. <laughs> Marie Leno Some. <laughs> Where is she? Oh, okay. Professor Tin Dogbe. <laughs> this is a man with an of a name who comes from Cameroon. <laughs> okay. So here are our two colleagues who've been um, nominated for the position of, of president. And uh, we'll ask them to each say something for five minutes. Yes, please. Who wants to start? Uh, good evening. 
members of the Kodesia community. Okay, I think you should come uh, Good evening to you, members of the Kodesia community. Uh, it is an honor, a very unexpected one, but a great honor to be considered for the position of president of this organization. It's an organization I have held in high esteem uh, for the last 10 years, over uh, the period uh, over which I've been involved with it. Uh, writing, reviewing, as a member of the scientific committee for the last two years, um, and now uh, possibly a member of the executive committee. Um, in the period, especially when I've been actively involved in the scientific committee, um, one of the things that has been a privilege to uh, be a part of is uh, to review, actively be part of reviewing the scientific work coming out of the community, which means uh, understanding the state of the social sciences on the continent, understanding the areas of weaknesses, um, sometimes in great frustration, sometimes in great hope. And uh, if I had the privilege of uh, becoming president of Cordesria, this is an area I would focus on. I think our responsibility has to be on the younger generation of African scholars. There is a huge um, generational gap. We had scholars, the earlier, the founders, and at least two generations after them, who were very influential, not just as scholars, but as intellectuals and as public intellectuals. And there's a lot of potential among us in our communities. And I think we need to revive that. We need to restore Cordesria back to you know, the status it had when its founders uh, uh, brought it into being. So thank you, and uh, you know, in whatever capacity I have to serve you, I'm honored and I will do it to my best. Good evening, members of Codesria, colleagues. I, I also would like to, to thank uh, the, this possibility of going on uh, working with Codesria in the executive committee. I never thought three years ago that I, that I would be there and I could never think that uh, I would be ever appointed uh, or proposed for the presidency. I think it is, a, it is a huge responsibility, it is a huge challenge. We had the opportunity to listen to the, to the report. Uh, many things have been done, but there are many challenges that we, we will face. But I, I think that with this fantastic group of women that we have in this new uh, executive committee and always taking into consideration that we always need to listen to when we are in a in a in a como é que se diz posição de, de poder in a higher position I think that we so many women will do it thanks Kanimambo Thank you very much. Um, I'm in this happy position of having two women who are my friends <laughs> standing as president of Cordestria. It's incredible. <laughs> um, I think it's now time to determine who gets to vote, not to. And I think the rules apply. 
If you were not able to vote in the regional groupings, it means you are not able to vote here. So those of you who voted in the regions qualify to vote. And, and how are we going to do it? Are you going to read out names or how will you do it? I have the names. Okay. You want to read out the names. Okay, so maybe go ahead to read them. Is this my... And then um, the ballot has to be distributed. Or should we distribute the ballot and so take? The ballots are numbered according to the names. Oh, okay, okay. So, so, so maybe if you, okay, yes, please explain. Yeah. Uh, so, colleagues, what we have, what we have is a list of uh, 70 eligible voters, and we have arranged them the list uh, from number one to 70 and ballot papers from number one to 70. So number one on the list is arranged in alphabetical order. So maybe the best way forward is for me to read out the name and you pick your ballot. Okay? One is for president, the other one is for vice president. Yeah, but I'm just saying, they all go into one and then when you will count. Yeah. Yeah. So, Adejo Pius. Adejo Pius. Number two, Jimmy Adeshina. Number three, Kofi Anidoho. Naneki Anidoho. Awansom Nicodemus. Teresa Zeng. Azeng number six. Babo Alfred. No, 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 we haven't we haven't called her. Alfred Babo. Alfred Babo. Well, we'll have to go and get the flash disk for projecting the names. Batenga Willy. The names are there. Ben Fridge, number nine. Ben Fridge, number nine. Bigombe Longo, number 10. Carlos Cardoso, number 11. Maria Casimiro, number Isabel, number 12. Tieno Sise, number 13. Uh, Krask as an institutional member. Krask, number 14. Krask. Teresa Cruz de Silva, number 15. Trust, number 14. Uh, Teresa, number 15. Uh, Dembele, Demba Musa, Jackis Dipelchin. Bashir Jan, number 18. 
18 Bashir John Jawara Manjia 19 Mamadou Diouf 20 El Amin Khalid 21 El Moshid Ibrahim number 22 Rokaya Fal 23 Henrietta Fai Henrietta Fai 24 Nkolo Fowe 25 No, I haven't called Moish I said El Moshid Brahim, this is number 25. Call of 25, and Rieta 24. Yeah. Claudio Futado, 26. Claudio. Gomez Patricia, 27. Fatima Harak, 28. Cheryl Hendricks, 29, Nimi Hoffman, 30, Aristide Cabran Jane, Lengapula Puleng, Ndri Esilumumba, 33, Mahmoud Mamdani, 34 uh, can you please project the name of the, the names of the candidates on the screen please okay Martins Caldera 35 Martins Caldera Martins Dagu Kuha Maria Pinky Mehwe. Yeah, but we are not sharing with them. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Maria Paula. And Pinky 38. Maria Paula 39. Tandika Mkandawire 40. Ibrahim, Ibrahim Moish. 41. Teresa Moyo. Kandika is 40. Moish is 41. Teresa Moyo, 42. Mshai Mwangola. Jamein Goyi Chibambe. George Nzongola Ntalaja, 46. Noelo Botella, 47. Olokoyo Felicia, Chibambe is um, 44. Olokoyo Felicia, Olukoshi Adebayo, Lino Some, Ramon, Ramola, Amtun, Yes. Sandra Maun. Is it other one? We didn't tell people where to write it. Can write it. Can write it. Just make sure you write on the paper. Ebrima Sal. Anta Sane. Akila Pasoya. 
Ona lena selolwane. Fikeni fikini senkoro. Kenet simala. Samoyo African Institute. Samoyo African Institute, institutional member. Fatuso. Fatuso. Sheriff Salif C. Zen Tadase. Tombiano Talandinda. Ibrahim Achub. Mare Mature. Delmas Tefak. Jack Shibobwa. Joji Chikata. Um, Welepele. Elatra Kamil. Huh? Wele Pele. Elatra Kamil. It's right there. And one and one ballot is yours. All the others are spoiled. All the others are spoiled ballots. When? Today? Earlier on, or uh, uh, Mary. So colleagues, just to be on the same page, it's really not possible for you to come and pay membership today and then want to vote. It, it just, that's just not how it works. So I'm really sorry if you are not on the list, but this list is for people who paid membership earlier. Thank you. Um, pardon? Uh, is there anybody who still is holding a ballot? Are we? Oh, okay. One. You're still holding the ballot.
So colleagues, we have results from, from our presidential elections, and the results were as follows. Leno Some had 25 votes, Isabel Casimiro had 28 votes. So Isabel Casimiro is elected as president of Kodesho. Okay, so thank you. We'll, we'll do the vice presidential thing now. Okay, so the next um, item on the agenda is to elect a vice president for Cordestria. So again, nominations are open for the vice presidency. Yes, please. Je répète, je répète, je voudrais proposer Rokhaya Fall et les membres du comité exécutif sortant, et les historiennes, beaucoup de publications importantes et une grande connaissance du Kodestria. Thank you very much. Rokhaya Fall is nominated. Yes, please. I'd like to nominate Lino Somme for vice president. Okay, so Lino Somme is nominated for vice president. J'aimerais proposer la candidature de Jacques Chibwabwa. Jacques Chibwabwa. So we have three nominations. Yes, they will come. <laughs> So may I ask um, Rokhaya Fall and Jack Chibwabwa to come? Oh, we didn't do second. Who seconds these nominations? For Rokhaya Fall? Yeah, are you Rokhaya Fall? Okay. So Rokhaya Fall has a second. Leno Some, who seconds? Yes, please. Onalena um, Selowan seconds Leno Some. Jack Chibwabwa, who seconds? Bigombe seconded. Bigombe seconds. Thank you very much. Okay, so since we heard from Leno Some once, I would not ask her to give another speech. I would ask Rokhaya Fall and Jacques Chibwabwa to come forward and, and speak to us. Thank you. Merci beaucoup, Madame la Présidente. Euh, je voudrais d'abord remercier ceux qui m'ont proposé à la vice-présidence. Je voudrais les remercier parce que être promu à la vice-présidence me donnera l'occasion de continuer quand même le travail qui a été entamé. Parce que vous n'êtes pas sans savoir qu'au sein du nouveau comité exécutif, il n'y a pas beaucoup de membres de l'autre, de l'ancien comité exécutif. Et ce serait bien quand même de continuer dans la lancée du travail que nous avions entamé. Et je me propose quand même, si je suis élue vice-présidente, de travailler dans ce sens-là, essayer de renforcer ce que nous avions fait et d'aller au-delà de ce que nous, nous, nous avons entamé pour arriver à de meilleurs résultats. Voilà, merci beaucoup. Donc, euh, voilà, je, je me présente, on m'a présenté et je suis à vous. Merci beaucoup. Euh, merci beaucoup. Mon nom c'est Jacques Tiwawa. Je, je suis très, euh, je me sens très honoré, euh, mais pour des raisons indépendantes de, de ma volonté, je J'annonce que je retire ma, ma candidature. Voilà. Merci. So, 
colleagues, um, Professor Chibuaba um, did not take up his candidature. So we now have two candidates, Rokhaya Fao and Leno Somi. So maybe we can begin. Yes, please. Are you calling the name? Yes, again. I okay. <laughs> no, I <laughs> uh, so we start again. Uh, Adejo Pias, Jimmy Adeshina, Kofi Anyidoho, Naneki Anyidoho, Ansom Nicodemus, Azeng Therese, Babo, Alfred, Batenge Willy, Batenga Willy, Ben Fridge, Bigombe Longo Patrice, Cardoso Carlos, Maria Isabel Casimir, Fieno Sise, Krask, Teresa Cruz, Dembele Musa, Mosso, Jack Dipelchin, Gian Suleiman Bashir, Diawara Mantia, Mamadou Diouf, Khalid El Amin, El Moshid Ibrahim, Rokaya Fal, Henriette no, Faye, Nkolo Foe, Claudio Futado, Patricia Gomez, Fatima Harak, Cheryl Hendricks, Nimi Hoffman, Aristide Cabran Jane, Puleng Lengapula, Lumumba Ndri Esi, Mahmoud Mamdani, Martins Caldera, Martins Dakuha, Pinky Mewe, Manessas Maria Paola, Tandika Mkandawire, Moish Ibrahima, Therese Moyo, Teresa Moyo, Mshai Mwangola, Jermaine Goy Chibambe, Nzongola Ntalaja, Noel Obotela, Felicia Olokoyo, Adebayo Lukoshi, Lino Some, Ramtahul Ramola, Ramon Hassan, Ebrima Sal, Anta Sane, Akila Pasoya, Seloluane Onalena, Senkoro, Simala Kenneth, Fatuso, Sharif Salif C, Zen Tadase, Timali, Talandinda Tombiano, Mare Mature, Delmas Tefak, Shibwabwa, Jack, Joji Chikata, Shamil Jepi, Welepele, Kamil. Yeah. The rest are spoiled for
Is there anybody who is still holding a ballot paper? No, thank you. You are still keeping it. Did somebody say he's still keeping the paper?
Dear colleagues, we have the results of um, the elections for vice president of Cordestria. Um, Rok Hayafor had um, 29 votes. Leno Some had 21 votes. There were two spot ballots, so Rok Hayafor is vice president of Cordestria. Congratulations. the president of Cordestria, Isabel Casimiro, and the vice president of Cordestria, Rukaya Fall, to join us at the podium. So, uh, colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is uh, my pleasure to welcome the president, the new president of Cordestria, uh, Isabel Casimiro, to say something. Colegas do Codesria, good evening, Codesria colleagues. I intended to speak in English, but, but to speak in Portuguese, but I know that we will not have translation. Uh, I would like to, to thank your confidence. As I said before, I, I never thought that I would be a member of the executive committee and president was something that was not in my imagination. Today we talked a lot about imagination and I never thought of that. Three years ago, I, I came into the executive uh, committee and it was not easy to come in to to accommodate this new uh, task that I received. Because there's no translation to Portuguese. Uh, there is, uh, the, it is only French and, and English that we, we have in the, in the meetings. And I have to confess that sometimes I don't even remember the words in Portuguese because it's very it's very complicated and sometimes I was quiet and some colleagues asked me why I was so quiet, but I was trying to adapt myself to this new situation. So it is a, a big challenge. But, but as I said, uh, I belong to a generation, the, the generation of the revolution in Mozambique that had to accept challenges. I had to interrupt my studies in the university when I was 20 years old in 1975. And along my life, I had to receive the 
different responsibilities after the assassination of Ruth first and other responsibilities as MP in, in Mozambique. So this is another one, but a very difficult one. We know very well. But I think that with this executive committee, with so many women, and with Rokaya that was there before, I think it will be possible. And allow, allow me to thank some of my teachers that helped to, to forge my way of being apart from my parents. Teresa Cruz e Silva, that is here. Jacques de Pelchin, he was here in the morning. And Aquino de Bragança, that was assassinated with our president, Samora Machel. They, together with my students that uh, challenge me every day, they, they are helping me to, to be a better person and to imagine uh, another world, as was said in all these days. So what I can say is that we will go on the work that began with the previous president, with the previous committee, and I'm sure that working together and dividing responsibilities, we will do it. Thank you very much. Asante, Kanimambu, Shukran. Uh, it is my pleasure to welcome the, the Vice President of Kodestria, Okayafa. Merci, Monsieur le Secretaire Exécutif. Bon, voilà, c'est fait. Je suis vice-présidente du Codestria. Je dois quand même me rappeler un peu. Je suis venue au Codestria en, je pense que c'est en 84 ou 86, 1984 ou 86. Et c'est le professeur Batili. Quand je suis arrivée, fraîchement de Paris, jeune assistante, c'est lui qui m'a introduit quand même au Codestria. À l'époque, je pense que Zen, je ne sais pas si elle se rappelle, elle était là-bas. Et j'étais chargée de faire une synthèse d'un certain nombre de mémoires qui étaient au niveau du cadastre. Je l'ai fait. J'ai continué depuis ce moment à cheminer avec le cadastre. Et c'est Mamadou Diouf, avec qui on était au CRA de Paris, qui m'a encore réintroduit dans les ateliers du cadastre, notamment quand on allait à Bamako. C'est pourquoi, quand on parle de centralisation, je pense qu'il faut revenir à cela pouvoir permettre aux collègues des autres régions de sentir quand même ce qui se fait au niveau du Codestria. Ces ateliers faisaient beaucoup de bien et il est temps qu'on revienne à ça. Donc, euh, avec cette vice-présidence, je vais essayer de continuer avec l'équipe du comité exécutif, le travail entamé et je pense qu'on réussira si on sent toute la communauté derrière nous. Encore une fois, je vous remercie de m'avoir porté à la vice-présidence et merci beaucoup au travail maintenant. Voilà. I, I think we should give Georgie a chance to say some final word before we proceed, please. Um, the, 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 the people have spoken. This is an ambush, it's not fair. <laughs> um, I'm, uh, it's with great relief, really, and <laughs> gratitude <laughs> that, that I stand before you. I want to thank you for a peaceful and constructive General Assembly. It's been intellectually stimulating. We had some of the greatest um, speeches that we've heard in a long time. And it shows that we have a vibrant community which is alive to its responsibilities. So I was very happy about that. We've had uh, peaceful elections, no, no dramas to take home with us. So really, I think uh, we've done our job well. And for me, the last seven years have been eventful. Um, I became vice president of Cordesia, I think, in, in, in uh, Rabat in 2011 and then became president in 2015. It's been a long seven years, 
and um, I'm pleased that it's over and we try to contribute something and I hope that the new committee will build on this. So I want to congratulate the new executive committee, the new president, Isabel Casimiro, the new vice president, Rokhaya Fall. And these are two um, very significant women in our community. I'm glad that they are the helm of, the, of, of Cordestria at this time. And I also want to thank Godwin Murunga for um, stepping into this huge role as uh, Cordestria Executive Secretary in an almost seamless manner. He has really risen to the task, and it's been a pleasure to work with him in this short period we've been working together. Thank you. <laughs> So my last thing is to say, when you go back, travel safely, enjoy your Christmas and your holidays or whatever you do at this time of year. I certainly am going to have a good time. Thank you. Uh, uh, colleagues, um, let me also uh, congratulate the new president of Cordestria. Uh, the new Vice President of Cordestria and uh, the new Executive Committee of Cordestria. Um, I am proud that uh, it's majority women. And uh, I am proud that Cordestria has consistently begun to make the point uh, that uh, through our governance structures, uh, gender matters. That through our governance structures, the generational question matters, and that our diversity as a community uh, is not anything to take for granted anymore. It's becoming a tradition that the council is developing, and I think I have no one else to thank except all of you uh, for conducting the process in a decent manner and demonstrating that uh, we have a commitment to the council and that that commitment at every point in time uh, is defined by a visible Pan-African logic because that is the one glue that keeps us going in the council. The one thing that keeps on inspiring us to do the work we do. Uh, that Pan-African element is going to be one thing we are going to latch on uh, to begin to essentially demonstrate that we are bringing all the diversities on the continent into Cordestria and to begin to work in a way that begins to fulfill all the aspirations uh, of members of the community. Indeed, it was in that context that we thought about this General Assembly. All the way when we started planning for it uh, in December uh, last year in Pretoria, uh, we, we hoped that we would have an event of this magnitude, that we would be able to mobilize um, a team of participants that would show the capacity of the council to reproduce itself and that would demonstrate that there is a rich diversity of African social scientists and humanities scholars on the continent that are interested in the council, not because uh, we offer anything exceptional, but because they want to throw their commitment in the ring and remind the world that Cordesria matters whichever way you think about it. And I want to thank you very much uh, for using this General Assembly to demonstrate uh, our own capacity uh, to rise up to the occasion. Uh, secondly, I would also like to thank the out outgoing executive committee members. Uh, I've had one and a half years uh, serving with them, and uh, we've had our discussions, we've had our disagreements, uh, we've had debates in the executive committee but we've always risen up to a level that demonstrated a commitment to a level of integrity uh, that for me was useful. Because without that level of integrity, it would have been difficult uh, for us to work together. And so I want to thank you very much as you transition, those ones who are transitioning out of the executive committee. Uh, I'm hoping that I can call on you at some point uh, during the, the year uh, to be able that is 2019, to be able to work with you in different capacities. Because at every point in time, we need members of the community to be able to support us in different ways. And so I wish you the very best. 
and I hope that uh, this moment helps you also to renew your service uh, to the council. Uh, more often than not, when uh, I organize an event like this, uh, I get all the congratulations, uh, especially when it's successful. Uh, I am now used to being congratulated. Uh, but most of the time, I know very little about how things happened. Uh, things just happen. Uh, and I think the credit for, for, for the success of this General Assembly, if indeed it has been successful, uh, goes to members of the Secretariat of Pedestrian. Uh, I worked with a, a small committee of uh, five to six uh, colleagues uh, which coordinated uh, the planning and logistics for the assembly. Uh, and at some point, the whole secretariat mobilized itself to make sure that on the one hand, we plan a good general assembly, but on the other hand, we also achieve our goals for the 2018 uh, program cycle. And I think that I can confidently stand here and say that we have money to achieve on the one hand, uh, good targets for our regular programming, but also we have been able to uh, do this General Assembly. And I want to thank members of the Codestria Secretariat uh, for, doing, for being diligent, for working together, and for making sure that the General Assembly uh, happened the way it did. Uh, our funding partners have been useful to us. In many instances, some of them going beyond the call of duty, uh, even late in the day, uh, to, to support us in many ways, not just financial, but in other ways. And I wanted to take this opportunity in particular to thank uh, the, 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 our funding partners. We did mention them by name. Uh, I, I, I don't see uh, a good many are not in the room. Uh, but really, this has been a useful experience for me, and I want to thank them very much. Uh, during the opening ceremony, the Minister for Higher Education, uh, Research, and Innovation uh, attended the official opening as a representative of the uh, government of the Republic of Senegal. And I had a chance at that moment to express my, great, my, my gratitude to the government uh, for the support that uh, we get. It's not, it's not regular that you organize a meeting of this caliber and all elements related to immigration are sorted out within less than two days. And we've had the rare privilege being in Senegal to be able to resolve many of those issues without sweating even uh, a bit. And so I want to take this opportunity to thank uh, the, uh, the, the, the government of the Republic of Senegal, to thank uh, citizens of Senegal for giving us an enabling environment to do the things we do, for allowing us the autonomy to do what we do in Codestria, and for enabling um, uh, participants in the General Assembly to enjoy the facilities, including this particular facility, which the government uh, did contribute uh, to supporting us. So this is something that uh, I would like members of the community to understand, that we don't take it for granted uh, that we are in this country. We don't take it for granted that the government of the Republic of Senegal supports us uh, the way it does. I would also like to, exp to, to express uh, our apologies as a secretariat. Uh, we really tried to make sure that we, uh, we achieved a smooth General Assembly, uh, but I'm aware that there are places where we failed. Uh, we didn't fail because we never tried. We really tried to make sure that everything was smooth. Uh, but uh, I, I wish just to express uh, our apology, my apology on behalf of the Secretariat. Where we failed you, uh, obviously we are going to learn and try to improve in future. And where um, uh, we, we notice that we need to change, we are going to do that. Um, I want finally to wish all of you a safe return uh, back to your destinations. Uh, a good many of you are going to leave uh, tomorrow. Uh, 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 an announcement has already been sent out when you should uh, be out heading to the airport. Uh, we think that it's safer for you to go to, get, to, go to the airport at least four hours uh, to, to the flight than uh, three hours because we don't know how the, the situation is going to be. Uh, many members of uh, Codestria Secretariat have spent the last two weeks uh, really just 
uh, organizing the assembly, and I'm sure that they'll be very tired. So my appeal to you is that uh, exercise some, uh, some, uh, some diligence on this. Uh, find uh, the, the bus that is meant to take you to the airport on time, and let us facilitate the process so that we can complete the process of the General Assembly uh, without any, any other problem. I want to thank you very much for honoring us in the Secretariat to, uh, to serve you in whatever way we have to. Uh, we don't treat it as, uh, as work, we treat it as a, a rare privilege to be able to serve the African social science community. We try to do that with the level of pride uh, that, uh, of course, we need to express on behalf of the community. And for that, we want to thank you very much, and I want to wish you uh, the very best as you go back uh, home. Enjoy your Christmas, have a good New Year, and we will reconnect uh, in 2019 when I will remind you that you need to pay your membership if you haven't paid your membership. Thank you very much. Can I just make a final announcement? Uh, members of the outgoing executive committee and members of the incoming executive committee, I would like us to have a meeting in room B05 uh, before we can leave. Uh, for members of the new executive committee, the work begins this evening. Thank you.